Okay, here in Photoshop, we're gonna have a look at three different methods of placing images within a composition or project that we're working on, okay? So we've set up a new document by using the file new function, and now we're gonna place some images within our project. So the first one we're gonna use is under the file menu again. So we'll go to file, place embedded, and we can select an image, um, a JPEG, a PNG, or other file types such as TIFFs, and place those into our Photoshop documents. We can even place PDFs directly um, into our Photoshop documents. So we'll grab an image here and press place on the bottom right hand side here, and that will place our image. And once we're placing our image, we'll get this border that pops up around the outside of our image with handles at the edge that allow us to resize our image. Now, if we begin to resize straight away, you'll notice that I'm distorting the image. So we wanna hold down shift as we're resizing um, and getting our image ready to position, okay, so that we keep the proportions. So we'll scale our image down a little because we're gonna put a few images into this one document. And then once we're happy with the scale of it, we can move it around and then hit enter once we're happy with the position of it. So that's one way of placing an image within Photoshop. Now this is an embedded file, so if we save our project, this image will be contained within the file that we save. The next option under file is the place linked option. Now you need to be careful with this option because it does place the file as a linked file. And we'll just quickly grab another image here and place it in. Okay, now this file is linked, which means that if we move or remove or delete that external file, then we will lose the link to that, that file. So if we, again, hold down shift and rescale this one, you can see the difference in the icons in our layers panel here. So we have the smart object, which is the, the first layer that we placed. And then the second layer that we placed has this little link next to it. And if, and if you right click on this layer, you can see that we've got the option to embed this linked file. So we can, at a later stage, once we've placed the linked file, embed it within our Photoshop file. So the next option we're gonna look at is how we would drag and drop a file from one Photoshop document to another. So we'll go to File and Open this time, okay? And we'll pick out a, a project file that we have here. Okay. so. If we look at our tabs at the top of our Photoshop window here, we can flip between them and we can also click and hold on one of those tabs and drag it out, okay? And this allows us to, with the move tool in our toolbar selected, actually click and hold on that image and drag it across to our other Photoshop image. Now you can see here, this is something that pops up when you're moving images into another Photoshop document. And that is that when you place an image that's bigger than the canvas size, it will retain its original size so it can show up very large. So if we go to edit, transform and scale, we can now scale this down and we'll just use the numerical options that we have up here. We'll link the, the proportion so that we scale it in proportion and just type in 25 here to make it 25% of the original height and width, okay? And then we can go in and rescale it down a little more. Now, one thing to note about this image is that we have a slightly different layer icon down here or an absence of a layer icon. So these are really the three key types of image that you would place within a Photoshop document. The smart object, which retains the original image size. Uh, the linked file, which retains the original image. It retains a link to that original image on your computer and you'll always need that image to be there. And then this, which is just a bitmap image. So now once we've scaled that down, we've lost its original file size and file quality, okay? So those are a couple of ways of placing images within our Photoshop document. We'll just open up another file here and look at a different way of placing an object, okay? So we can also place an image from one file to another by copying and pasting it. So if we open a file up and select the rectangular marquee tool, we can draw around an area of an image Go to edit and copy, come to the file we're making our composition in and go to edit and paste. And that will paste the, the file in. And again, if we go to edit, transform and scale, we can scale this image down. And we'll link those together and scale down the image size. Now it's scaled the image to the center of that original image. So if we zoom out, you'll see 
and this can happen from time to time, that the image that we've scaled is scaled around this center point. So just be aware of that. If you do use the numerical scaling, then it's going to scale um, and it can scale off the canvas. And so you may not be able to see it at some point. Okay, so that's a useful thing to know. And if we hit enter, you can see the image that we've copied and pasted is the same as layer one here, our yellow truck, in that it has lost that original image size. Okay, if we do want, when we paste in an image that we've copied, in order to retain that original image size, so I selected it and did Command and C to copy there, if I paste in now, okay, and right click on my layer, I can convert this to a smart object, okay, which means now if I, if I transform it, it's going to retain its original image quality. And again, I'm holding down shift as I'm transforming that. So you can see these two chairs that I've pasted in. If I hit enter, one is a smart object and one is a, a regular layer. Okay. We can also, if we go to open another file, select a whole image. So if we go to the select option here, we can select all and go to edit and copy. We can close these original images up now. And then we can use edit and paste to paste that image in, okay? And again, we can right click on that image, convert it to a smart object before we transform it, and then move it into position, okay? So when I'm zooming in and out, I'm using command or control and plus or minus, depending on whether you're working on the Mac or PC, but you can also use the view window to zoom in and zoom out. You can see the shortcuts listed just to the right here. Okay, so now you can see we have a number of different images placed within our Photoshop document. And these images stack in layers like a deck of cards. So for instance, if we have this red chair and we wanted to move it behind these other images, we can grab it here, click and hold, and then drag it behind our other images. And you can see it shuffled back there. Okay, so that's a quick overview of how to combine images within Photoshop from different sources. Um, I hope it's been helpful and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.